What's up guys, this is Rack and Load and I have something very shiny and new to show you. This is the very new ISSC Omni M22 long barrel pistol for you guys that are in the UK that have to put up with our odd laws for pistols. This is Pretty nice, to be fair. It's about the closest thing you're going to get to a Glock as far as looks go. Although it's not a Glock, but it's very Glock-alike. This is very kindly on loan from Livin's Gun Shop. These are bought into the UK by Edgar Brothers. Let's have a good look at this thing then. So it comes in a decent box, which is rather nice. And here it is. It's all wrapped up. Now, this is... Bit of an out of box look to start with. Um, and you'll see a range time video as well uh, coming soon. So I just wanted to, let's get the manual out. And let's get rid of the box. That's the box anyway. You, what else do you get in there? You get like a little screwdriver in there. Eh, whatever. Let's get rid of that a sec. Now, here it is. Look, still got the factory label on. So let's have a look at this thing. So this is it. The Omni M22. Let's just drop that there. Hang on a sec. Oh, it's good. It won't, uh, I can't drop the hammer on it because I've took the mag out. But what do you think of that? First impressions. What do you think? Polymer lower. Uh, that is an aluminium, I believe it is aluminium. Where's my magnet? Oh, I ain't got my magnet. Yeah, it is. It's an aluminium slide. But that looks pretty nice. Pretty nice. Feels good. So, let me just roll out some specs then. So, 212R, this one is. I need to cut that off because that is just going to drive me mad let's get rid of that right let's lose that now yeah 22 lr semi-automatic overall length is 600 millimeters you know for uk law yeah i know we have to put up with that it has to have a 300 millimeter barrel this thing weighs in at 960 uh grams or just under a kilogram okay the magazines feel all right they feel pretty decent uh, you have like a follower as well 10 round like i said very similar to the gsg mags if you ask me but no looks nice doesn't it very glock alike with its square uh, slide there you can get, now I thought this when they first um, come and I first sort of got my hands on one. I was like, oh, it's not tapped for a, a, you know, to put on a red dot, but it looks like, and I'm guessing because I've not seen the red dot uh, mounting plate yet, but it looks like it interfaces there somehow. So I think it'll be riding up front, which would be kind of cool. You've got a, an accessory rail or a picatinny rail underneath on the polymer slide. Polymer slide on the polymer frame. Uh, not Glock like as in the trigger guard because on the Glocks they, they're kind of square. They've got a bit of a corner going on here. That's rounded off on this. Glock style trigger safety though. there, And you've got an ambidextrous safety, ca safety catch there or... As you've just seen, then you can sort of drop the hammer. That will drop the hammer to make it safe. Iron sights. Uh, it is uh, only a uh, single action. Okay. So it's not like, for example, a Firefly, which is double action. Uh, you've got to, obviously, that hammer's got to be cocked for it to then, you know, shoot, basically. Whereas the Firefly, for example, here in the UK, you can just cock that hammer back or just pull the trigger from when the hammer is down so single action and double action this is just single action 
but I do like the look of it. I'll try the trigger. I shouldn't really because it's got nothing in it, but it's quite a nice trigger to be fair. Quite nice. But no, guys, just a bit of a first look. That is the bar. I'm not sure about this round knobbly bit on the end of the bar. I, myself, I'd probably prefer that naked. Although that probably, oh yeah, it does. So that is threaded, so you could, you can unscrew that. So I'm guessing you could put something else on there or just take that ball thing off, I guess, if you wanted to. I kind of like the way they've done that as well. So rather than having the bar um, drop, you know, how that sometimes they fix the bar on uh, some long barrel pistols, it's it's almost like a bit of a bodge inside. Whereas here, that looks properly done. It looks like it has been made for the job. Um, or for the law, should I say. It feels solid. Everything is, feels real rock solid about this pistol. I think they are better quality than GSG. I'm not knocking GSG. I've, I've owned several GSGs in the past. You just got to look at some of the videos on the on this channel but this feels better quality and what i do like as well and i've got to show you this and this is the main bit and this is something i always generally sort of uh, moan about the fact that a lot of pistols just have like a pencil straw drinking straw um barrel this one has a proper barrel so like the PPQ, for example, that's got a bit of a pencil or drinking straw barrel on it. You know, the, the only good barrels I've seen so far on uh, long barrel pistols is the kel one of the kel uh, What was it? The CM33? I probably got that name totally wrong. Uh, but you, you see it on this channel. One of the kel that have got a proper match barrel. This has a decent, solid heavy barrel you have got a shroud for it but it's a good thick barrel on its own you know i'd be if that was black i'd be happy to leave it as it is but yeah this just sort of adds to the you know um the looks of it so a proper barrel which is nice open sights as you can see or iron sights I'm looking forward to using this, giving it a go. What I do particularly like is, and it reminds me of Caltech, the way they've done like these sort of um, square bits where you can grip to open the slide. I kind of like that. What I did notice on this pistol is there isn't, unless I'm, I mean, no, it's, it doesn't work. The, the slide release, it doesn't press down to release it. You basically have to, Obviously, when there's not a mag in, that won't drop. The slide will not drop. You've just got to uh, slingshot it. Okay. You can obviously pull it back and lift that up to lock the slide open, but it will not drop. No matter whether you push it, press it, pull it, whatever. It doesn't do it. You've just got to slingshot it. So, interesting. But... Uh, but no, the proof will be in the pudding. Um, I have fired a few shots out of this particular pistol uh, into my bullet trap, but I have not used it in sort of uh, anger, so to speak. I shouldn't say anger. I have not used it at a range or in range conditions. But we will see how it gets on. You will see me shooting this, obviously, at the range. At paper, I will get it on steel as well to see how this thing runs and chuck a load of mags through it. But no, looking pretty good. I'm liking it. It's about time we add something a little bit different as far as long barrel pistols go. This is actually made in Austria as well, where ISSE is. So I'm guessing they're probably not too far away from the Glock uh, factory. Not that Glock would probably want anything to do with it, you know, because uh, all they'll be doing is keeping an eye on uh, copyright infringement and all that. But obviously it's you know but no decent manual as well i know i'm sort of rolling this out into a like a review but uh 
sort of just show you this stuff while we've uh, we've got it out on the table but nice i like it it's decent manual uh decent instructions all your safety do's and don'ts yeah it's not bad at all so yeah the issc m22 omni in 22lr that is your first look guys i like it i cannot wait to put this thing through its paces and you know me i will report back with a range time video to see how this thing is running but there you go guys the omni m22 from issc that is rack and load thanks for watching see ya